Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the array curve command. And over here on the left, I have a copy or from the previous tutorial, from the divide tutorial, this is what I showed you how to do. I'm going to show you the difference between the divide command and array curve command. So let's say we wanted to array curve the slat of the pergola along this line. I will type, on, type in array curve. It'll ask to select the objects to array. I'll select the object, right click, or you could simply press enter when done. And it's going to ask to select the curve. So this is the curve that I want to array. Type enter. And you can see that it automatically pops in one. That's because I specify um, two items, item one, item two. But you can also select the distance between each slat. So for instance, if we wanted to select the distance, we type D, enter. Um, and in the divide tutorial, I mentioned that we wanted it to be one foot apart. But maybe if we want it to be one foot um, two inches apart, you'll see how it'll line up differently at the end. So I'm going to do 1.2 feet. And you can see here that it is on just a little bit short of the patio. Um, to complete this command, you can also just hit enter to accept. But what's nice about the array path or the array curve command is if we were to do the interpret curve command, it will allow you to draw, let's say, a slat of pergola along a curve line. And to do that, we're going to grab the slat of pergola, the midpoint. We're going to rotate the slat of pergola so it's perpendicular to the surface. We're going to use array curve. We're going to select the objects right click and it's going to select the line. You can see that now it automatically places the slat of pergola along a curved line, which is very nice. Um, that works differently from the divide command. So array curve is registering that this curve, um, that this line has a certain angle off of the curve and it will automatically generate this slat of pergola or whether it's a walking path, maybe this is a walking path, it could be whatever it is, um, but it's very nice to quickly generate the same shape along a curve.